I was actually uh, in Wall Street for three and a half years, uh, running a billion dollar like a um, machine learning equity trading strategies. And over there was like, uh, huh, I have to hire 20 people to manage this $1 billion. And a lot of them is just um, remote during COVID. And uh, it doesn't feel like uh, I need all that people, right? Ideally, my ideal setup is like uh, me plus one or two people plus a set of machines. So like uh, run everything from analysts, uh, quant researchers, uh, like uh, developers. And uh, when I say uh, in stock GPT, I was like, wow, it might even be possible. So I decided to shut down my small trading pot inside Millennium and uh, leave and uh, like uh, do startup. Then it comes generating alpha. So what we are building is the next generation investment bot. If you look at the history of like uh, investment uh, uh, with machine, uh, there is actually uh, two groups of investment uh, methods. One is uh, like a uh, algo investing. It's like most of the the like a mass PhD, computer science PhD, physics PhD go to Wall Street, go to like Citadel, D Shell, uh, jump trading to do this kind of like a computerized trading. Right? They basically uh, conquered the high frequency trading industry, and uh, most probably like at least eighty percent of the trading volume today on the market comes from this uh, computerized uh, HFT trading. And uh, uh, there is another completely different uh, styles of trading, which is the uh, uh, how human beings do investment. Like there are famous guys like uh, George Soros and Ray Dalio, where they are more like philosophers. They think about the world and think about uh, what are the hypotheses uh, about uh, what's going to happen next. And uh, then predict down events. They go out sending a lot of analysts um, uh, to read uh, all kinds of different documents, talking to people, and uh, recollect information and have a big long engine to digest all this information and send all the information to the final decision makers like the uh, Redalio. Right, Red Alley probably have at least a hundred uh, different, uh, very educated, uh, like a Harvard MBA type people working for him at uh, Bridgewater. And what we are doing is actually building an AI trader that makes the best of both worlds uh, to like uh, be able to read all the, say, like a broker re report PDF, search Google, look at all the websites, play with Bloomberg Terminal. Uh, and even incorporate the information from human analysts that go uh, coming from wines and the bank, uh, to put all that into a reasoning bot that mimics how the best human beings like Redalio uh, to do the system two level reasoning. And this is, uh, I call the title of the talk, uh, Building AI Traders with Reasoning and RAG. But uh, fundamentally, I see like, uh, RAG as one of the instruments to help us build uh, like a uh, two using ability and then uh, like uh, fit up all the real time context uh, for us to do like uh, really the system two level at the elite uh, uh, human expert uh, reasoning. Uh, so like a uh, first step, we have a website and we have a, a, a bunch of like a fun uh, kind of prosumer facing free product that you guys can play if you like, like to trade stock yourself. Go to our website and uh, like basically we have some like a free AI analyst that can answer your questions about uh, yeah uh, uh, what's going on with Tesla today uh, like uh, should I go deep and buy Tesla after the robot taxi big uh, like a uh, price waterfall uh, yeah what's gonna happen if uh, like say Trump wins the election with Bitcoin or with gold price like stuff like this. So feel free to go to the site uh, afterwards, right? Like uh, we have two websites. One is gafa.ai, another is uh, alpha.dev. Like basically your alpha developer and help you develop alpha. Uh, and this is the background of me. I'll be very quick. I worked at uh, uh, three different uh, uh, kind of uh, big uh, pod structure trading firms, uh, Millennium, Citadel, and Point72. They're probably like top three in terms of the cutting throat uh places that um uh have a lot of different uh, portfolio managers compete and and the, each uh, portfolio manager have like a a two percent to maybe like a 30 40 percent team to like uh, compete in the game 
and before that, I was a temporary math PhD, and uh, I'm one of the first PhD that uh, decided, okay, I'll spend a very little time proving math theorems, and instead of focusing on understanding what's going on with deep learning, at the early time, like a uh, comment and later, I participate in the discovery of uh, actually some of the top attention stuff. I was in Google Brain in 2016 and uh, experienced uh, the early days of like discovering the exciting sub attention sequence structure later in 2017 it was renamed to transformer and there was this total attention is all you need that kind of like a laid the foundation for modern like large language models so i kind of based through the history luckily and uh yeah like uh, uh i also tried to apply some of that uh in the earlier days before ChatGPT to like trading and uh it kind of uh only uh, lp2 until recently, I really see the line of like, oh, it's actually possible to build a system to bot that uh, like mimic how the bad human think. So, uh, as I was saying, I, I see the world as in the old world, there is a clear bipartisan of like a, a machine versus human territory where machine is slowly eating the pie from human. Um, Right in in like uh, before probably 1980, the whole world is like a uh, dominated by human beings, right? There's not much machine, and uh, like on high frequency side, there's people on the trading floor, and uh, uh, like they just they're yelling at each other. There's no other book, and slowly there's computerized trading, and the uh, HRT was uh, there when computer become more powerful in the 2020s, and there is like clear technology waves. And among each technology wave, there are very profitable trading firms. In the 1980 to 1990 uh, wave, there is a Renaissance technology, D Shaw, and all that. And in the like a millennium uh, time, there are like a big data trend which lead to a company like uh, uh, Two Sigma. There are also high frequency trend which lead to a company like Hudson River Trading XTX. And now I see there is a big new wave which is a machine being able to do what uh, traditionally only human can do. First, uh, it's able to like uh, read all the unstructured data that traditionally only human can read, like the uh, reading any website and uh, being a robot that interacts with the digital world and read different um, websites, read different files, and also being able to go over all kinds of like financial PDFs, uh, which is like a big part of traditional world, and also like a uh, maybe jump into Zoom calls and uh, participate in those ads for the call and sharing investment insights. So uh, that's a big part of what large language model and the RAG unlock. Uh, the second part of what uh, the new technology unlock is how to make insightful decision just like the best human being, but without the emotion of the human being, so the greedy and the fear. Uh, so we have so far worked with around 100 different uh, human experts. Some is really good at like, invest in NVIDIA, like um, TSMC for the whole like AI chips. They are really good at guessing what's going to be the revenue come from selling like a B200 uh, next quarter. Some are really good at uh, investing in Tesla. Some is really good at like, investing in like, Bitcoin. And some is really good at speculating with small altcoins. Like, there are different group of investors and they have very different styles of investment. Some spend their time trading like um, zero day options. Some only trade like um, uh, every uh, half year. There's like a very wide range of people who trade as humans. And the, our goal is to basically build up uh, expert AI for each one of them to like mimic how they trade and um, at least they like uh, do probably 30% of their like a uh, automatable job so that they can have like a lot time uh, like watching the market and uh, being like, really anxious and uh, spend more time thinking deeply about uh, more fundamental things. And uh, today we are building kind of like a human um, AI uh, and uh, probably like a kind of quant algo co-living system. Uh, it's kind of like the multi-agent system that Norman Brown was proposing where we have like a, a large language model that is able to use uh, like traditional quant algo tools like say HFT execution tool or like an option uh, pricing tool 
uh, and uh, it settles how the best human beings orchestrate uh, different workflows as their investment process. And uh, um, often I get a good question from like a typical uh, like investor. What if everyone use my technology, right? Like uh, if everyone has this, it's going to be a brutal like, uh, competition. Uh, so far, what we observe is like uh, we actually can build a very diverse class of different set of agents mimicking how different people trade with different style. So somehow it's like uh, instead of different humans competing with their concepts, it's different humans uh, injecting their concepts of how to invest uh, into AI agents and the AI agents uh, compete on the market with them. The game is still kind of a game of competition. We are not taking away the fun and making the market like you nominally move in one direction, just like the old coin trading actually. And the, how do we build this uh, AI trading platform? Uh, the way we build it is to literally mimic uh, uh, how human traders do things, right? Instead of buying large stream of HFT data uh, to look at other book, we actually look at all the things that human traders look at from financial PDF to real-time web data set to news, uh, social, and uh, of course the bread and butter of like time series and other book and the like option wall surface and all that. And also we try to mimic how the human traders think. I think this was the part that uh, used to be super controversial when I go up, give talks. So people were saying, isn't you just doing a sequence of prompts and all that? Until recently, OpenAI launched O1, everybody was like, wow, this is system two. This is interesting. So finally, we got like people recognizing, okay, to actually mimic how human experts behave, you need this system two launching, planning, and reasoning. So we have been exploring this for the last two years and um, have accumulated a lot of interesting insights on how to like say use RL to build actor critique, uh, build a chain of thought and uh, have self-reflection and uh, re-evaluate hypothesis, cross-check your information source. And we also build in different uh, strategy logic that, like a human being from like a how to do prediction at a certain time point to like uh, evaluate which of the uh, factor is a driver for this uh, like upcoming event all the way to like uh, getting uh, event probability like whether Fed will lower interest rate by 25 bips or 50 bips uh, all the way to sharing their like views with other people like what well, some good option traders might um, uh, have their agent basically pay uh, like a micro agent for like their prediction on whether Fed will lower interest rate or not uh, for the next uh, FOMC. So I can see slowly we are actually accidentally curating a marketplace where different um, AI agents actually um, communicate and trade and uh, collaboratively follow each other's strengths. So I can imagine as uh, more people participating in our ecosystem, it actually becomes a very uh, interesting dynamic so where the people that are in our kind of a, uh, like a small consortium have like access to all other people's AI, uh, which is kind of like a bundle their superpowers all together and have other people's unfair advantage uh, and pay for other people's uh, like information edge and uh, kind of knowledge edge, uh, which I can lead to everyone that is in this group being more profitable. And uh, overall, we are building this infrastructure where we are curating a platform with multiple strategy where uh, there are uh, two types of things, uh, two types of AI. First is like the worker AI, right? the white collar worker AI, like the analyst and the execution traders. Those part of AI are shared uh, across the, the board. For example, if you go to the alpha.dev website today, you will have a free access of our analyst AI. But uh, uh, you will not have access to how we do decision making, right? So we, we have basically the uh, analyst AI go out and fetching information, synthesis information, summarize and uh, like uh, form a hypothesis, uh, uh, create like uh, structured tables. And then we uh, turn all this information to the decision making workflow, which is unique to each uh, like investment experts, like a portfolio manager, hedge fund boss that their job is like to tell the AI 
like how they do things and which type of input do they consume. And the AI agent basically follows their expert workflow um, to like do decision making under uncertainties. And uh, in the end, they come up with a decision and now it's like a very uh, kind of uh, mechanical part of like, how do you best uh, execute the trade, right? How do you hide yourself, hide your trade? How do you trade the wave up? Now, all that is kind of a mix of a, a classical quant trading, algo trading technology with our new AI on like a forecasting higher frequency uh, market movement. So we actually have this three piece the technology where the first piece and the third piece is kind of a shared info, where the back of the piece is unique to how each person do their expert system to thinking. And the benefit of this is uh, we're not hoping our AI can be smarter than any human, but this AI will have infinite attention. They work really hard. They can simultaneously look at a thousand different stocks and have uh, seven days, 24 hour attention. And we got like, a very big success on crypto markets just because crypto market like seven days, 24 hours and no good human traders can actually dedicatedly waking up all the time to like execute their trades. And even if they are still significantly better than AI, they like the AI to cover the time when they are sleeping. And uh, on the AI analyst part, we have built a lot of interesting pieces. Like uh, uh, you can talk to a uh, PDF uh, and we have a uh, uh, AI that can like do really good in like, the uh, financial PDF understanding. Previously, we did a benchmark comparison that our AI can get 92% accuracy talking to ICC filing where chat GPT with GPT-4 can only get 19%. And it used a lot of uh, like a, a complex PDF parsing where actually our parsing is probably best on the market for financial PDFs. And uh, we welcome people that uh, want to have our PDF parsing ability for other use kids to come and uh, collaborate with us. So here is also a call. If you have other PDF parsing like, uh, needs, like uh, parsing your, like, uh, uh, like the bio, like a bio, like a papers in science or parsing your like a uh, kind of a multi-model like a uh, document uh, comes up. We have a pretty good generic uh, PDF parsing tools that good at uh, like a uh, multi-modality, semi-structured, uh, unstructured PDFs. Yeah, and uh, we have all this product live, both like uh, the AI analyst that uh, search the internet, chat with the internet, and the, the AI that uh, talk to all the PDFs. Uh, and we have AI traders that uh, can consume all this information and give you real-time trading. We're about to launch actually a crypto news trading ball to everyone that can monitor the crypto market and give you recommendations on which kind of uh, crypto tickers to pay attention to and trade. This is about to roll out on Telegram very soon, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, in the end, the young brides, we also want to actually use uh, uh, AI trading as a way to move uh, towards AGI or even beyond AGI, as AGI is like a potential definition by open eyes, like replace the white color workers, right? And the, what we are hoping is in the end, that we can build this uh, multi-model AI agents that can actually like truly become the best uh, human traders and learn all of their skill set from reading the microstructure, other book things, all the way to being able to bet big events like election and the synthesis all the information. So in the end, uh, uh, we, we hope with all the different technology, uh, system tool, uh, IO training with all the experts, uh, workflow and all that, we can have this uh, final trading foundation model that can truly like um, uh, get up the kind of miracle that OpenAI is able to get in generic large language model. Oh, like, uh, let's see how far we can push. Thanks so much.